On the 4th of October 2010, residents near Menominee, Michigan woke up to a loud rumbling noise and some shaking. One local resident was sitting down watching TV and she felt some movement which lasted about 15 seconds. So the local resident who heard the noise went out to investigate and what she found on her property was a crack 110 meters long by about a meter wide and about a meter deep. And in some places, up to two meters deep. What is astonishing about this crack is that something underneath actually pushed the land up and split the land, creating the crack. In fact, you can actually see the trees on both sides of the crack leaning in different directions. Also, it created a ridge about two meters tall. This close-up photograph of the crack by Wayne Pennington of Michigan Tech shows the roots that have been split apart by the powerful forces underneath. Menominee, Michigan felt its first earthquake in recorded history. So what caused this unusual geological anomaly? The cause of this crack remained a mystery for the next five years until 2016, some new theories came about. Menominee, Michigan is located in the southern part of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, practically next to the border of Wisconsin and on the west part of Green Bay. Earthquakes are unheard of here. This area is seismically inactive and there are no known active faults anywhere near the area. The areas in red have the highest probability of earthquakes. However, the areas in blue have the least probability of earthquakes. And actually you can see Menomini marked by the X there in Michigan. So the cause of this abrupt change in the land was caused by a unique geological feature called a pop-up. Pop-ups occur when the layers of rock not too far underneath would rebound toward the surface after the overlying glacier has retreated or if tons of rock have been removed from the quarry. But the mystery remains. The glaciers retreated over 10,000 years ago and there are also no quarries in the area. Dr. Pennington and his team knew that this was a pop-up structure. However, they needed to verify it by doing seismic refraction tests. Seismic refraction tests captured the sound wave speeds traveling underground. The sound was slower perpendicular to the crack due to the fact that the sound had to traverse many fractures which indicated a pop-up. His team found that the limestone was very brittle underneath and rebounded upwards. But what was the trigger? Seismologists noted that the redesigned drainage system near the crack and soil removal may have been a factor which caused more rainwater to flow under the surface. The freezing and thawing each year may have weakened the rock even more. But the day before the crack formed, a two-ton tree has been removed from near the crack. This may have been the final trigger that caused the pop-up. The retreating glacier was not enough to make the limestone rebound. But that two-ton tree may have finally caused the rock underneath to rebound. This is the best theory so far. Once the two-ton tree was removed from the surface, the rock underneath finally rebounded upward to form the crack in the ridge known as a pop-up.